I would say like, I mean, I try to go more than spend like three hundred dollars on the test phase, like when I can, like unless I just either like a shit ton of content we're running or like you know it it, it just is, is not doing well. Um, but ideally, we stick to like around like two hundred to three hundred dollars there, and then like usually something is clicking enough to where like by the time uh, actually uh, let me back up. So we do that three hundred dollars. I would say like over the course of like five days, five to six days, and then. Ideally, the cost per click of one of those ads or, or the whole combination of test sets gives us enough pixel firings that like we're good to scale into a conversion ad on like the sixth day. And then, you know, the sixth day of the campaign, then we're scaling everything from that for the rest of the month or and assuming it's working. If it's not working and let's say in those video view ads, like the cost per click is so crazy that we weren't able to get those 50 conversions then that's when I go through another retesting phase. So like, let's say, for example, if like we're running five test ads and they're all doing like a dollar cost per click, and it's like, okay, if I spend $200 on this set, I'm going to get enough clicks to do a conversion ad. You know what I'm saying? That's not that bad. But if they're doing like $5 a click, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, all right, man, this shit, you know what I'm saying? This <laughs> ain't, ain't going ain't to get me there. You know, so like now I'm looking at it and like looking at it and trying to figure out like, do I need to change stuff up or switch out? And like, that's the biggest thing, man, is like, as you get more comfortable doing it, and looking at the numbers, like you'll know, like instinctually when you need to pivot. Like there are times where I don't even go through the whole testing phase. Like I can sometimes I, I've ran ads before, and like within two days, I'm like, oh, that's the winning ad. And so like, like you can just look, you can just look at it and tell, like you know, what I'm saying like things start making sense. And then sometimes you'll like run shit, and it'll be so bad. Like the first couple of days, was like, no, like I already see we need to stop these. You know what I'm saying like this shit is like I had to ask that like that. I was talking to my marketing team. We had a client with like one of his test ads was doing like a fifteen dollar cost per click. I was like, no, this shit got cut off. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this one is clearly, <laughs> this one is clearly not going to do any better. It's that fifteen dollars, maybe to get down to eight or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not, it's not gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's like, it's at a dollar thirty, maybe to get down to a dollar eight, maybe get down to ninety. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But then it's, in the testing phase, it's more about identifying the winning piece of content and then getting enough pixel firing to do the conversion ad. And then once you switch to doing the conversion ad that's when it starts to become about like, okay, now what is your tone and conversion rate looking like? Is it going up? Is it going up to at least that bad minimum 30% or higher? You know what I'm saying? And then now how high can you get it to? And then that ends up being the thing that like long-term you want to pay the most attention to. That tone and conversion rate, your overall Instagram engagement, your DSP engagement, right? Because you, in, in, in your YouTube analytics, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to make sure shit is growing. You don't want people just clicking through and then like stopping because that tells you something. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to add once where we got the guy like, like a thousand clicks of his Spotify and like he like his shit just wasn't going crazy. It wasn't it wasn't doing what we expected to do with that type of conversion rate. And I remember like looking at it and thinking like, man, I think your your Spotify profile set up. And he's always trying to I think like people click over to your Spotify profile. And because like he did he had a lot of like a lot of stuff like on the brand side that like you know wasn't great. And I was like, I think when people click through they see your profile and it literally turns them away. I'm like that's look that that's, that's what that has to be what it is because the ad cost is cheap. The tone and conversion rate is high. Shit starts fucking up once I get to Spotify. Why is it fucking up? You know what I'm saying? But like all of yeah. that is something, right? But like, so you're looking at the entire funnel to determine like overall success. Are people going all the way from point A to point Z? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, but testing phase is about like identifying winning content. Conversion phase is about now seeing is this thing converting high enough for you to continue running it? Or do you need to go back to doing a video of your testing phase to either identify new content or warm that pixel up with maybe like better data or something like that, you know? Wow, oh, what's up, it's Brandman Sean. And if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you wanna talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app, it's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well. But it might not be free forever, so hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.